Picture this, a single asteroid slams into Earth, transforming the planet into a muddy graveyard where 75% of all life drowns in a 50-meter deep sludge in just 24 hours. 66 million years ago, this cosmic monster turned solid ground into a liquid nightmare, kicking off the end of the dinosaurs. And now, in May 2025, with a 0.01% chance of a similar strike this century, we're staring at the same danger. Stick around to unravel the muddy chaos, how it wiped out giants, and why it could spell doom for us today, because this muddy apocalypse might be closer than you think. Let's jump back 66 million years to the late Cretaceous period, when Earth was a wild, lush planet split by the Western Interior Seaway, a 1,000-kilometer-wide ocean slicing through modern-day North America. Imagine dense jungles with 30-meter-tall ferns swaying under 35-degree C heat, where 10-ton Tyrannosaurus rex hunted alongside 15-meter-long Triceratops, and coastal plains buzzed with two-meter wingspan pterosaurs. This was a world teeming with life, from swampy deltas to shallow seas, packed with three-meter-long mosasaurs. Why does this matter? Because on one catastrophic day, an asteroid crashed with such force that it turned this vibrant land into a muddy hell, triggering the mass extinction that reshaped life and its lessons are hitting home in 2025. It all kicked off with a blinding flash over what's now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, where a 10-kilometer-wide asteroid hurtled toward Earth at 20 kilometers per second. This beast slammed into the planet with the force of 100 trillion tons of TNT, carving a 150-kilometer-wide crater known as Chicxulub. The impact vaporized 20% of the Earth's surface in seconds, sending a shockwave that flattened 500 kilometers of forest in an instant. Molten rock and debris shot 50 kilometers into the sky, turning the air into a fiery inferno hotter than 10,000 degrees C. Imagine a nuclear bomb the size of Mount Everest exploding in your backyard that's the chaos that erupted. But this was just the start. Let's dive into the muddy mayhem that followed. Within minutes, the impact triggered a 100-meter-high tsunami that roared across the oceans. But the real horror was the mud. Trillions of tons of pulverized rock and soil liquefied into a 50-meter-deep slurry flooding 70% of North America's landmass in under a day. This muddy deluge moved at 300 kilometers per hour, burying 90% of coastal life, from 15-meter-long triceratops to 5-meter-tall cycads under a suffocating blanket of sludge. Fossil beds show layers 10 meters thick, packed with dinosaur bones, frozen mid-stride as the mud claimed them. Picture a modern city like New York drowning in a 50-story mudslide. That's the relentless tide that turned Earth into a swamp. But the danger didn't stop there. Let's see what rained down next. As the dust settled, the sky unleashed a rain of death. A two-meter-per-hour downpour laced with sulfuric acid at a pH of 1. More corrosive than bleach, lasting for weeks across 80% of the planet. This toxic rain mixed with the mud, turning it into a chemical stew. That dissolved 60% of remaining plant life, leaving 20-meter-tall trees as blackened stumps. Sulfur dioxide levels spiked 1,500 times above normal, creating a choking haze that killed 85% of surviving animals, their skeletons etched with acid scars. Oceans turned a sickly green, 
with 90% of coral reefs melting away in months. Imagine a modern hurricane dumping acid rain that eats through your car. That's the poisonous sludge these creatures faced. But the devastation grew worse. Let's uncover the global freeze that followed. The debris cloud blocked 90% of sunlight, plunging Earth into a nuclear winter that dropped temperatures by 15 degrees Celsius in just 48 hours, freezing the muddy landscape into a 5-meter thick icy crust across 65% of the planet. This sudden chill turned the sludge into a death trap, preserving 95% of dinosaur remains in a muddy ice tomb. From 10-ton T-Rex to 2-meter-long baby hadrosaurs, shallow seas froze solid, killing 80% of marine life. Like 3-meter-long mosasaurs, their bodies entombed in mud ice layers 20 meters deep. Geologists found a one-meter-thick iridium layer marking this freeze, a cosmic fingerprint of doom. Picture a modern winter locking every highway in a five-story ice-mud mix. That's the frozen grave that finished off the dinosaurs. But some life fought back. How did they survive? Let's find out. The 10% of species that survived were the toughest, like the 30-centimeter-long Purgatorius, a tiny mammal ancestor that burrowed into muddy banks, dodging acid rain by 90% and scavenging drowned insects. In the oceans, 5-centimeter-long ammonites hid in deep trenches where 20% of marine life clung on, their populations dropping only 50% thanks to stable depths. On land, 15-centimeter-long birds like Ichthyornis flapped through the mud, their lightweight bodies needing 70% less energy than larger prey. It took 10 million years for life to rebound. But these mud dodgers evolved into 50% of today's species. Their grit etched in survival. It's like a handful of hikers outlasting a global mud flood. That's the resilience they showed. But what does this mean for us now? Let's explore the modern threat. Fast forward to May 2025 and scientists are buzzing. A one-kilometer asteroid detected last week has a 0.05% chance of hitting Earth in 50 years, potentially unleashing a 20-meter mud wave across 30% of the globe. A strike today could block 60% of sunlight, dropping temperatures by 5 degrees Celsius and drowning 15% of global farmland in mud within weeks. The Chicxulub event proves how fast Earth can turn to sludge. Experts estimate a 1% chance of a major impact this millennium. Imagine a modern town buried under 20 stories of mud after a single rock hits. That's the muddy future we might face at 10.12 p.m. on May 27, 2025. The ancient survivors adapted, but can we? Let's reflect on that next. Here's a wild twist. Fossil sites in Montana show dinosaur footprints filled with mud-turned jade, suggesting some were trapped mid-step as the asteroid shockwave turned soil into gemstone sludge, a stunning relic of chaos. So, 66 million years ago, the Chicxulub asteroid crashed into Earth, turning into a muddy apocalypse that killed 75% of life and ended the dinosaurs in a 50-meter sludge wave. Today, in May 2025, with asteroids looming and climate shifts brewing, this muddy disaster warns us of Earth's vulnerability to cosmic threats. Are we ready for a modern mud bath with cities buried and crops ruined? Or will we be stuck like those prehistoric giants? Maybe it's time to track the skies and brace for impact before Earth turns to mud again. If this muddy tale of doom hooked you, smash that like button and subscribe for more epic stories from Earth's wild past.